Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of MySQL, PHP, and Nginx on Ubuntu version 20.04. And this will probably work for older versions of Ubuntu and later versions of Ubuntu, uh, but I don't really want to waste any of your time, so let's just get on into the tutorial here. And right off the bat, I have a server at this IP address that I just installed a fresh copy of Ubuntu 20.04. And down here um, in my terminal window, I have SSH into that IP address, as you can see here. Okay, so we're on that um, server with Ubuntu installed, and the first thing we're gonna typically do is do an apt update to update all of our mirrors and all the package sources so that we're looking at the latest version of those packages when we go, when it comes time to download them, which is what we're gonna be doing in just a few minutes here. So when this is done, we can do an apt upgrade to upgrade these nine packages that can be upgraded. And the reason we're just doing this is to, in type Y, we're gonna do uh, an additional 170 megabytes of package updates. So type Y, hit enter. And like I was saying, the reason we're doing this is um, just to make sure we're starting off with a fresh copy, a fresh up-to-date copy of Ubuntu version 20.04 or whatever version you're working with. So this is gonna take a minute or two. I'll pause the video here and come back when that's ready. All right, now that we have the latest version of the packages installed on our system, let's install the first piece of software, which is gonna be Nginx web server. So we can do that with apt install Nginx. And this will be about 8,000 kilobytes. So type Y, hit enter, and I'll get back with you when this finishes. Okay, next up, we can install MySQL server. So we can do that with apt install MySQL dash no space dash server hit enter this is 248 megabytes type y hit enter and we will be back in just a second all right now that my sequel is installed let's harden the installation kind of lock it down make it more secure with the my sequel underscore secure underscore installation um, procedure here and we just type that in and now it's going to ask you if you want to have strong passwords basically type Y what kind of complexity do you want those passwords to have do you want low complexity medium or strong uh, we'll do strong in this case which is going to be a combination of numeric mixed characters special characters and uh, excluding dictionary elements meaning like you can't have like the word tree or the word like ball in your password. Anyway, um, I'm gonna try to type a password here. Okay, we got it at that time. It has a complexity of 50 out of 100, which is okay for now. Uh, let's continue. And do you wanna remove anonymous users? Yes. Disallow root login remotely? Yes. Remove test database and access? Yes. Reload privileged tables now? Yes and that takes care of that. Okay, so the final piece of software that we need to install, you guessed it, PHP, so I'm gonna use my cheat sheet over here just so I don't type anything wrong, and it's gonna be an apt install php-fpm and php-mysql. So I'll go ahead and hit enter, and type Y to continue. This is 18 megabytes of disk space, and I'll catch up with you when it finishes. Okay, and that's it for the software installation. You're actually good to go at this point. You have everything you need, but here's a couple additional extra pieces of information that you might find helpful. Let's just check out our PHP version with PHP dash dash version. And we got PHP version 7.4.3 and our MySQL version, same thing, MySQL dash dash version. We got MySQL version 8.0.21, both the latest versions at the time of this recording, latest stable versions. And then um, just so you know, um, your Nginx configuration files are in the etc Nginx directory. And in here you'll have a sites enabled directory and a sites available directory. So let's just poke in here to the sites available directory. And you have a default configuration file, which will open up with a text editor. And here, um, you know, you can read through this. We won't go to it in this tutorial, but I just want to show you that the root of your default website is at this location on your um, your server. So let's go to that location. So let's go to cd var www.html 
and in here you'll just see a default landing page for um, Nginx and we're gonna go back out of here and copy our AP address and paste it into a web browser and you'll see this default landing page like I talked about and just to make sure we're looking at the same thing I'm just gonna make a couple edits to this um, we'll get rid of all of this content except for the header and then I'm just gonna change this to hello world we'll save that come back here and refresh the page there you go the changes have been updated we are successfully serving web pages from an nginx server guys if you want to learn how to do some more stuff with your nginx server as far as installing apache i'm sorry not apache installing wordpress check out this video here and if you want to host multiple websites on your nginx server check out this video here guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future and if you do i'll see you in the next one